In this tutorial, we will see how to check the given vector is irrotational vector or not. If curl f vector or del cross f vector is 0, then f vector is said to be irrotational. Now we will check the given function is irrotational or not. First we have to find del cross f vector which is i j k dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z f1 is coefficient of i vector which is 2xy e power z f2 is a coefficient of j vector which is x square e power z f3 is a coefficient of k vector which is x squared y e power z now we will expand this i vector into dou by dou y of x squared y e power z minus dou by dou z of x squared e power z minus j vector into dou by dou x of x squared y e power z minus dou by dou z of 2xy e power z plus k vector into dou by dou x of x squared e power z minus dou by dou y of 2xy e power z now we will differentiate this i vector into first we have to differentiate with respect to y in this x squared e power z is a constant differentiation of y is 1 minus we have to in the second term we have to differentiate with respect to z so x squared is a constant differentiation of e power x is e power x so write e power z as it is minus j vector into dou by dou x of x squared y e power z in this we have to differentiate with respect to x so y e power z is a constant differentiation value of x squared is 2x minus we are next we have to differentiate with respect to z so 2xy is a constant differentiation of e power z is e power z plus k vector into we have to differentiate with respect to x so e power z is a constant differentiation of x squared is 2x minus we have to differentiate with respect to x so 2x e power z is a constant differentiation of y is 1 so i vector into x squared e power z minus x squared e power z is 0 minus j vector into 2xy e power z minus 2xy e power z is 0 plus k vector into 2x e power z minus 2x e power z is 0 so finally we get curl f vector is 0 curl of f vector is 0 so f vector is irrotational thanks for watching this video please subscribe for more videos thank you